Hi, welcome to lesson nine of Art Sectors and Angles and Circles. Today we're still going to be continuing with angles formed in circles. So let's do a wee quick starter. So we have three right angled triangles here. If you pause the video for a moment or two and have a go at these questions, you are allowed to use a calculator. Okay, let's look at the solutions. So in A, X is opposite the right angle, so X is the longest side, so we need to use the add version of Pythagoras. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Putting in our values, we get side X squared equals 42 squared plus 37 squared. If we work that out on the calculator, we get 3,133. And then our final step, we need to remember to square root 3,133, so x is equal to 55.97 millimetres. For example, b, we have 101 metres opposite the right angle, so that's the hypotenuse, so x is a shorter side. So this time we need to use the subtract version of Pythagoras. Putting in our values we get x squared equals 101 squared to take away 74 squared, which gives us 4,725. Square rooting that, we get x equal to 68.74 metres. And then the final example, x is opposite the right angle again, so this time it's the longest side. So it's the add version of Pythagoras again. Putting in our values, x squared equals 32 squared plus 25 squared, which gives us 1,649. If we square root that answer, we get 40.61 centimetres for the length of x. So in today's lesson, we are finding unknown lengths formed in a circle. By the end of the lesson, we should know the meaning of the term perpendicular bisector, be able to identify a perpendicular bisector and apply its properties to triangles and circles, and use Pythagoras' theorem to find an unknown length. So, remember where you see the paper and pencil icon to copy the notes into your notes jotter or complete the exercises into your class jotter. So firstly, some meanings, some definitions. Perpendicular, that means at right angles to. Bisect means cut in half. So if we have a perpendicular bisector, that means a line that meets another at right angles and cuts it in half. If we look at the dotted line, CD, it passes through the centre. So this means that CD is a diameter and OD is a radius. Both these lines meet the chord AB, creating right angles. So this means that CD and OD are perpendicular bisectors. So when a radius or diameter meets a chord at right angles, it is a perpendicular bisector. When a radius or diameter is drawn perpendicular to the chord AB, the isosceles triangle AOB is also cut in half. So we know that an isosceles triangle cut in half creates two identical right angled triangles. And if we have right angled triangles, then we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So let's look at an example. Here we have a circle with a radius of five centimetres. Chord AB is eight centimetres long and M is the midpoint of AB. That just means the halfway point. We are being asked to calculate the length of OM and CM. If we look at the diagram, the dotted line CM passes through the centre. So this means the dotted line is a diameter and any line from O to the circumference is a radius. 
Therefore, the dotted line is a perpendicular bisector. If we want to find OM, we want to focus on just the triangle OAM. The question tells us that the radius is 5 centimetres, so that means OA is 5 centimetres. We're told that chord AB is 8 centimetres long, so therefore we need to divide that by 2 to get the length of AM. So AM is equal to 4 centimetres. Now we have a right angled triangle where we know two sides and we want to find the third side. So therefore we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. But is it the add version or the subtract version? So looking at the diagram, the longest side is already given. So therefore OM is one of the shorter sides. So we need to use the subtract version. Putting in our values, OM squared is equal to 5 squared take away 4 squared. That gives us 9. Remember to square root that answer, so OM is equal to 3 centimetres. Now, if we look at CM, CM is equal to the distance OM plus OC, but OC is a radius because it goes from the centre to a point in the circumference. So therefore it's 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8 centimetres. Let's look at a second example. Here in example 2, we are told that the distance from O to M is 6 centimetres and the distance from C to M is 4 centimetres. And we're asked to find the length of the chord AB. So our strategy here is to find the length of BM and then double it. Remember, a radius is a line from the centre to any point on the circumference. So here, OB is the obvious radius, but that's also equal to OC. So the radius is equal to 6 plus 4, which is 10 centimetres. Radius OC cuts the chord AB in half. So therefore, that tells us we have a right-angled triangle. So BOM is a right-angled triangle. If we take that triangle to the side and fill in what we know, we know that BO is 10 centimetres and MO is 6 centimetres. And we want to find the length of BM. So again, we have a right-angled triangle, we know two sides and we want to know the third side, so our method is Pythagoras. And again, it's the subtract version because the longest side, the hypotenuse, is already known. That's opposite the right angle and it's 10 centimetres. So putting in our values, BM squared equals 10 squared take away 6 squared. That gives us 64. Remembering to square root, BM is a square root of 64, so it's 8 centimetres. But we were asked to find the length of the chord AB. So that's double the length of BM. So it's 2 times 8, which is 16 centimetres. Now it's your turn. Please complete the following questions into your class jota. Remember to use any formulae, put in your values, square root your answer and make sure your answers have appropriate units. Check and correct all your work at the end of the exercises.